what's up youtube guys in this episode i am going to show you how i create my own thumbnails and how you can create your own thumbnails at home what's up youtube how are you feeling how are you doing i am back with yet another amazing and interesting video guys in this episode i am going to show you how i create my own thumbnails and how you can create your own thumbnails at home at the comfort of you know your office your home using either your phone your laptop your desktop you choose whichever you want it this is very beginner friendly and anyone can do this either you're starting out or either you have a little bit of experience or maybe you just want to learn so i'm going to show you everything you need to see everything you need to know how what happens what magic do people use what apps do they use what is the process now if you don't know what a thumbnail is this is an example of a thumbnail. This right here is a thumbnail. This is a thumbnail. And this one is a thumbnail. Now, a thumbnail is the small uh, photo that appears on a YouTube video. So maybe you have your own channel. Maybe you're creating for a client or maybe you want to create for a client. So you can do this for your own brand or for a client. I know, right? Money, 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 money. So guys, if this is something you would want to watch, please keep on watching. Remember to like this video, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below for me because it's about to get interesting. Let me tell you, by the time we are done, you will be a pro You are out there. So without further much ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay, I know we are already excited and we are already eager to start out this process. But let me tell you, hold up, hold up right there. Before you create your own thumbnail, you need a photo because what are you going to use? Now you decide according to your video what um, kind of images do you need. But the first thing you need for a thumbnail, you need a photo. So we are going to do that. We are going to take a few photos so that when we are going to edit, we can choose the best one. Which one looks better here? Which one looks better here? Which one um, will work better, you know? So the first thing you need when creating a thumbnail, take a few photos depending on the video title you're creating or the kind of content you're creating. So for us, we are going to be creating thumbnails for this specific video so my my photo for my thumbnail will be something like how do you create your own thumbnail you know so the first thing you need when you're, you're creating a thumbnail you need a photo so take a few photos maybe two or three five ten depending on you you know you know so we we want to have um a variety we want to have um something to choose from which one do we like better which one will look better so that when you're going to edit you are not um liking photos and then uh, we need the best results so have a few photos have a few options so that when we go to edit on the apps which i'm about to show you we will have a few options so i'm about to do that i'm about to take a few photos for this specific video now remember the the thumbnail we are creating is for this specific video okay so i'm going to take a few photos you better take your own photos and let's go okay i i believe you already have your photos i've already taken a few the ones i'm gonna use and you know just just be flexible with it play around with it take a few photos take a few angles a, a few different expressions because you don't know which one will work because when we go to edit i'm going to show you you're going to see a variety of 
um, different styles of how you can edit. So make sure you have a few photos with different expressions, different angles, different kind of looks, so that when you go to edit, you have a variety of options, okay? So I already have my photos. Do you have your photos? Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, guys, now I'm going to walk you through this process. I'm going to screen record and we're going to open Canva, okay? I'm editing using my phone. You can do this using your phone, your laptop, or your desktop. So I'm opening my Canva app and it has a few options. Um, you can play around with the editing and the editing features, which is really cool and they are easy to use even for a beginner. So when you open the CapCut, it gives you a variety of options. What will you design today? YouTube thumbnail, uh, resume, social media, videos presentations uh, documents so for us we are creating a thumbnail a youtube thumbnail so you want to click that and then it will give you a few templates or styles choose whichever um pleases you whichever you like whichever you see um is going to fit your video and your channel just scroll down there are a lot of options there's the pro version and if you don't have this you can also use the uh, the free version it's still the same it works the same so i found one i think i'm liking the the features the template so i'm gonna just open that and um immediately it's going to take you to your photos this is why you need photos okay because now we are going to replace that image with one uh with our own because you don't want to use someone else's photo okay so i'm just trying to adjust i um, trying to fit in my photo in the frame how does it look um you know just play around and then i decided ah, i don't like that one so i went back <laughs> i know right and then I, I decided to choose a new template um looks cool right so um um, it, it will take me back to my gallery the photo of course you can choose whichever you want and then now we are gonna adjust the wordings because we are creating a thumbnail now you need uh, the wordings to match whatever uh, thumbnail you are creating whatever video you are creating and the aesthetic of your channel okay because we want it to make sense at the end of the day so you um i'm just gonna edit this and you can also do the same from your side it's very easy it's very beginner friendly so you don't need to worry you don't need a lot of skills a lot of expertise anyone can really do this so we're just gonna play around with them um, with the fonts the edits we're just gonna adjust to whatever liking we we love uh whatever preference we would uh like or we would prefer okay so just play around with the edits do you it's very easy and it's very simple okay so i'm just uh trying to come up with um some cool wordings because i'm trying to create a youtube thumbnail so i really want uh, the thumbnail itself to have the specific words i don't know if it's making any sense because i'm trying to target keywords and seos and you know whatever you know the drill you know the gist okay so I'm just trying to adjust the wordings. Um, how would I want them to fit? How am I liking them? Okay. And you can also do this. Uh, you don't need to feel any pressure. Just take your time. I mean, it's starting to come to life. I mean, are you seeing that? Um, I'm liking this so far. So I'm just going to adjust that a little bit. Then I'm going to um, erase this part. I really don't need it. Okay. Uh, I think I'm happy with the wordings so far. What do you think? Um, I'm just going to add 2025. Honestly, I, I went back and changed it to 2024, but I really wish I just left it at 2025. But ah, it is what it is. Okay, well, we move, we move. Okay, no pressure. So now you want to adjust um, the colors. Uh, this is really cool. You can play around with the colors for the fonts, for the wordings, for the thumbnail itself, the background, the photo. So it really gives you a lot of variety. Feel free to explore the features. Um, just check which one would you um would you want which one would you, would you think looks better you know and i'm just gonna fix that photo how i would want it to look and, or fit in the frame i mean it's easy at this point we are almost done with our thumbnail guys so i'm just gonna adjust uh, the temperature the sharpness the brightness and a few things just to enhance the photo and to give it a little bit of quality and aesthetic you know you know because you really need a good thumbnail for 
for people to click uh, into your video and that uh, boosts your click click right through <laughs> guys i'm having a tough i mean oh so i decided oh if i can change the color why not i was just ex exploring the futures as i said and you can also do this on your side i mean look at that look at that it, it's already coming to life it's already making all the difference and you can do this at home at by yourself you really don't need to pay anyone or you can learn this and start uh, charging people to edit for them and to make for them how cool is that and you can also earn some cash in the process so at this point we are almost done so hold on there you're almost becoming a pro and uh, so after you're done adjusting how you would like the photo how you'd like the brightness the sharpness just the edits just the normal edits um you you there's a feature of download and voila the magic is happening now you have your photo in your own gallery how cool is that so i decided to make another thumbnail so that i can just walk you through but uh this process i'm going to speed it along i just want you to get the gist so you're gonna adjust the, the photo okay however you want when you click on the photo it gives you the option of replace and you want to click that and then it will take you to your gallery and then you can choose a photo of your own preference and your own liking and then you can just come and adjust it whichever you want it to fit in the frame adjust the wordings and voila you get to save and download Download. and there you have your own thumbnail how cool is that for this and more updates on um, what things you can create please remember to like share subscribe and leave a comment down below for me until the next video bye guys